Hello, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to take you through how our water system works in the van. So this is what we do for water. We've got one separate tap for our drinking water that runs into a 25 litre tank. And we've got another tap for our normal water, which runs into another 25 litre tank. But then we have two backup tanks on the other side, making it a total of 75 litre tank. Before I continue, I wanted to thank all of you who have already subscribed to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, then please do so and click that notification bell to make sure you are notified when I release a new video. I would also like to thank Amazon, as without them, the lifestyle we have would probably not be possible. To show some thanks and to give something back to those of you who are watching, there's a link in the description below, giving you 30 days of Amazon Prime completely free. Anyway, back to the video. Both the taps are swivel taps. This makes it handy to use the sink to wash our hair or to fill up a large bottle or pan by moving either tap round to the countertop. The taps are connected via a pump to the tanks under the sink. Each tap can be turned on or off independently. This means we don't have to constantly have our pipes under pressure when we're not using the taps. The switches are also close to the sink for easy access, so we don't have to go to the main fuse board to turn off the pump if there was a problem. The tank on the left is for drinking water, and the one on the right is for our normal water. They can both be filled via the big white flexible tubes you can see here, so they don't have to be taken out. I will show you how we fill the tanks later in the video. The pumps sit on the wall behind the tanks. They are connected to a board and then a piece of foam to stop any vibrations, but they're still fairly noisy. So the water comes in through the large white tube. We needed to add a small hole and then a tiny tube to allow air out of the tank when we fill it up. The clear pipe runs all the way from the bottom of the tank to the pump. The pumps are self-priming, so turn on automatically as soon as the tap is opened. We have the same setup on the other side for the other tap. I'll go into more detail shortly, but the grey caps you see here come off and via the large white tube the tanks can be filled from here. For the drinking water we pour the water in from bottles although we plan to add a filter system later so we can use any water and turn it into drinking water. The other two 25 litre tanks are on the other side of the van so in total we have 75 litres of normal water and 25 litres of drinking water. This will usually last us between four and seven days depending on how careful we are and how many showers we have. The tanks can be completely removed if needed but are quick to secure them back in place so they don't move while we are driving. I also forgot to mention, if you want to use any of the products that we used in this video, I've tried to link as many as possible in the description below. So now I will show you how we fill up all the tanks. So at the moment for our drinking water, we buy bottled water and transfer that bottled water into our tank under the sink. For the normal water, we get it from petrol stations or wells or anywhere that we can find free water. Usually we get it from a petrol station and luckily it comes with a nice long hose, so we bring the hose into the van and fill the tanks up directly from the hose. So each one of these tanks is 25 litres and there's another two of these underneath the kitchen sink. There's a couple of reasons we went for this system. The main reason was cost. These tanks I think were about 11 or 12 euros each, which even to get four of them is a lot cheaper than buying a big tank to fit underneath the van or somewhere inside the van. The other benefit is sometimes we can't get water from a hose and we have to get it from something like a fountain in a park. And if that's the case, this whole unit comes apart. This comes out and we can completely remove these tanks to fill them up from an outside tap. Once the first 25 litre tank under the sink is empty, to get the water from either of these tanks into the tank that's linked up to the tap, we simply use our shower system. So this is our 12 volt portable shower. Um, but also it's what we use to get the water from the tanks on this side into the one under the sink. So we take the shower head off. It's got a submersible pump, so that just drops down into the tank. And then this end goes into this tube here, and this tube runs underneath into the tank. And then we plug this in, and then we simply turn this on and you can hear the water is now being pulled out of the one tank into the other tank. For the normal water tap, we have fitted a splitter, so the single outlet of the pump connects to both the hot and cold connection on the tap. This does mean we only have cold water from the tap, but we don't find this to be an issue. 
The drinking water goes through a couple of adapters to fit the smaller connection for the tap. Finally, moving on to the waste, the water comes through the plug and into a standard P-trap, then into a flexible tube that connects to another fixed tube to take the water through the floor of the van. It then goes into a 25 litre tank that's stored under the van. We were lucky with the size of this tank as it actually fitted perfectly in between two parts of the frame, but I added a little bit of rope just to make sure it could never fall out. The water can then be poured out into a bottle or directly into a grey water waste drain using the red lever here. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about this setup, feel free to comment below. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.